we shall continue with our conversation around criticisms on Islamic modes of finance. We have already considered quite a few criticisms and we have tried to respond to those criticisms as well. We have tried to be as objective as possible, giving our neutral view on the criticisms. The criticism which I have chosen for this module is about the kaful. The criticism says that the kaful, as practiced in Islamic banking and finance, is no more cooperative than the existing models of mutual insurance. So, according to this criticism, there is no need of a new takaful model. And this is a very interesting criticism on one practice of Islamic banking and finance. And I must say that this criticism is true to a large extent. And a reflection of this criticism is ta'min uh, ta'abuni as practiced in Saudi Arabia. This is a view taken by many Saudi scholars. They say that the kaful, the way it is being practiced, this is unnecessary because the cooperative insurance is actually very close to the Islamic requirements. So they say if three elements, riba, gharar, and gambling are not there in insurance, in mutual insurance, then this can be made Islamic very easily. And this is what they have done in case of Saudi Arabia. An additional requirement for those uh, Ta'min companies, insurance companies, is that they should be distributing 10% of their profits, profits amongst the policyholders if they want to be called as Islamic insurance companies. So, in Saudi Arabia, a lot of Islamic insurance companies actually use the phrase. Islamic insurance in their name. Elsewhere, the kaful is actually a more popular term. In case of the kaful, there are some shortcomings which are going away with the passage of time. As I said, the kaful started with a mudaraba based model, it then evolved into a wakala based model, which was a slight improvement on the previous one, there were some practices like wakala, mudaraba based kind of model and the one which is being used in Pakistan, waqf based model, this is a definite improvement on the previous models. Now the real problem in my view is uh, with the role of the takaful operator. When I as a takaful participant, I put my one dollar into the waqf or in the takaful fund, whatever be the underlying model, a major bulk of my participation fee actually of my participation or my contribution, my donation is actually taken away by the takaful operator by way of the wakala fee or any other management fee. And in many cases, this is 40%. So, one, my one pound, 40 pence out of this or 35 pence or in some cases even more, 50 pence, they are taken away by the takaful operator as wakala fee. This does not sound good. It is Sharia compliant. I am not saying that the transaction uh, becomes Sharia repugnant, but it does not look very good. This does not go well with the concept of mutuality. 
in case of mutuality the money contributed by all the participants in the form of donations should go into a donation box and from there a reasonable management fee for a wakala manager should be negotiated 35% 40% this doesn't look very good so from that viewpoint i believe that those who say that the practice of the kaful is a weak one it needs to be improved and if someone like saudis if they come up with the takaful model or an islamic insurance model which is more in line with the concept of mutuality and it takes care of all the sharia matters i think that could be a lot better alternative to conventional insurance